A couple of months ago, I published some videos on my YouTube channel about my journey to the Olympiads. These videos also offer some advice to students interested in following the same path. Over time, the videos gained some popularity among the students who had questions about the Olympiads. And I encouraged them to ask their questions to me and promised to respond to all of them. And that's exactly what happened. Soon, I started receiving dozens of comments, emails, and direct messages from the students across the country. Due to lack of accessible resources, many relied on me for answers. However, the sheer volume of the questions quickly became overwhelming. The line of the students waiting for answers grew longer and longer. Then I remembered a video I have watched about managing and satisfying people's waiting in lines. The video explained why we see curved lines in crowded places like airports and concerts. According to it, keeping people in an organized line and assuring them the line is moving makes them feel happier than simply asking them to wait in a crowded area. That gave me an idea. Responding every message immediately wasn't working. It left both the students and me feeling uneasy. Some students even had to wait weeks for a reply. To solve this, I decided to create my own curved line by designing a website. The website would include blog posts and answers to frequently asked questions, helping students to find answers while they waited for more detailed replies from me. To get started, I searched like which programming languages should I learn to create a website. I already knew that HTML was the structure of the web page, but that was the extent of my old knowledge. After some research, I realized I need to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build a basic yet interactive website. The HTML would handle the structure of the web page, CSS would take care of the design, and the JavaScript would serve as the brain of the web page, telling all components to how to react or respond to the user's actions. With this knowledge, I turned to my favorite learning platform, YouTube. I watch Simon's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript courses. I highly recommend them if you are interested. Just remember to code along with the videos. The links are in the description. Finally, it was time to create my first website. I named it L using the title property in HTML, which will also be the name of my brand in the future. First, I built the body of the page, which is where the structure comes together. Then I created a top menu that will appear on every page of the website. Using CSS, I started style the menu adding shapes, colors, and hover effects to make it interactive. For example, hovering over a button makes the background darker, enlarges the icon, and displays a description. I use the before and after properties in CSS to make its description appear and disappear dynamically. I also created a bottom menu. Unlike the top menu, this one isn't fixed. It only appears when you scroll to the bottom of the page. Next, I designed the main content area of the page. I added a container to display recent news which users can cycle through with a sliding effect. I also added a section to preview blog posts. For now, this setup gives users an idea of what website will contain. My personal information, blog posts, projects, and advice to younger students. Once the structure and design were complete, I made the website interactive with JavaScript. I made all buttons clickable, directing users to appropriate sections or triggering dynamic effects like sliding new updates. After we website, I published it using GitHub pages. However, the domain included GitHub branding, so I decided to purchase a custom domain. I originally wanted L.com, but it was taking. Instead, I chose MrRad.com, which fits since the website is my portfolio and it aligns with my brand. With all of these features, the website is ready to share blogs and advice with students. There is a frequently asked question page that acts as my curved line. When students ask a question that I've already answered, I direct them to this page. This approach saves times, eliminates unnecessary delays, and keeps everyone, including me, more at peace. Thank you for your watching. Please don't forget to visit the website and share your comments. The link is below. And please don't forget like, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Goodbye.